Okay, today I wanted to talk to you about how I make a diamond spray solution. So what I turn around and do is you can turn around and get the uh, lapping diamond, the monocrystalline. So in this case, I've got zero to one micron. So I'll treat this as one micron diamond spray. And they come in packets of 25 carats, or in other words, five grams of diamonds, of diamond powder. And what I want to do is I want to make the recipe of one gram of powder to one ounce of water. So that if I'm using a, a one ounce bottle, uh, I'll have one ounce of solution in here and in there will be one gram of, of, uh, of diamond powder. So I turn around and get these packets. They come in, like I said, 25 carats, which is five grams of powder. So I'm going to turn around and what I need to do is I need to get a jar and get five ounces of water solution. Now with the monocrystalline, uh, as in one of the other videos, um, that when you just turn around and use straight water, it'll turn around and have a tendency to separate. So what my solution is, is to go out and get something that adds as a um, two parts is that it, it'll hold the diamonds in suspension uh, and prevent it from settling out. And to do that, we need propylene glycol. And the propylene glycol will do two things. It'll help, it'll help evaporate the solution a little bit better, faster, but it also acts as, as a bit of a, a lubricant. And the easiest way to, to get the propylene glycol, I found, is the humidors for cigar stores will get this uh, humidity control solution of which it's made of 50% propylene glycol and 50% uh, distilled water. So my solution to this is I'm going to draw two ounces of this solution. So that gives me one ounce of water and one ounce of propylene glycol and then I'm going to add three ounces of water to it to give me my total of five ounces. So if I start my solution, I'm going to get a syringe. And in this case, I'm going to pull uh, two one ounce uh, amounts of this. There we have it. We'll have, if I just hold it up here, we've got one ounce. There's one ounce of my solution. And the nice thing about these bottles is they come in eight ounce bottles. So they are readily available um, through either cigar places or Amazon. Looks like I'm going to have to turn around and do one more attempt here. There we go. So there's another one ounce of solution. Now I've thought about um, in doing this of whether or not I could just use the straight solution and I haven't quite tried it. I'm just a little bit worried that, you know, when I turn around and let's say we get a little bit of this and it does have a softening effect. Um, it feels like quite lubricated and um, for the leather strop, it might have a tendency to, to soften it more than what I want it to. But it's the thing is, is that it's going to hold the diamonds in their, in their suspension much better. So in this case, I'm going to take my diamond powder out while I've got my solution now. And I haven't added my water because I'm just going to try the uh, 
the approach. I've still got quite a bit of powder in there, so what I'm going to do is, this is my distilled water. I've already drawn up three ounces of water, so what I'm going to turn around and do is just grab some more water here. Spray it into my that one more time. And I'm using distilled water in this case because the humidor solution already starts with distilled water. I think I honestly believe just like the other videos show about this is that you can use any water. It doesn't really make that much difference because uh, all you want is something as a carrier for the diamond solution for the diamonds itself. And I'll just put my rest of my water in there. So now I've got five ounces of water. Draw up one ounce. My one ounce. So now I've got my one ounce diamond spray. Ready to go. And that will give me, like I said, that solution where I'm using the propylene glycol to sort of hold that uh, suspension uh, as a suspension agent, uh, maintaining the diamond in solution rather than it separating out as much as it normally would with straight water. I believe because it still has that uh, that amount of water, you will still get some separation, but the propylene glycol will help in preventing that separation. Like I said, it's uh, in this case, I'm using tropical humidity. It's just the humidor solution of 50% propylene glycol and 50% distilled water. I added three more ounces of distilled water for a total of five ounces. So I used two ounces of that, five ounces with the 25 grams. So it'll be five grams, uh, five carat or 25 carats. So it'll be five carats or one gram per one ounce of solution. So I have in this solution, one gram or five carat weight of diamonds now in this solution by having it mixed up. Thank you.